Hey everybody, Chris here from It's Mead Made, and today we are talking about the most important setting when it comes to supports in Bamboo Studio, and that is our support threshold angle. So, let's not waste any more time and get into this video. Alright, so let's just take a step back, because this entire video is literally talking about one setting. And that is our support threshold angle. So I'm not going to lie. This setting is confusing. I, it's super confusing. At least for me. When I got into it at first. Because all of the other slicers work in a certain way. And this one is it just made up its own thing. And it's like, why? Just follow what everybody else does. I'll get off of that soapbox. But... The big thing here is when you're in other slicers, you're dealing with a support overhang angle. And what that basically means is if I have a 3D print and this is at zero degrees right here and it starts actually tilting over, like let's say it's coming over at a 45 degree angle, my 3D print and it will determine when at what angle my 3D print will come out before I need supports, let's say at 50 degrees, I need supports coming up off the bed to hold up my 3D print. It makes sense because that's the angle of the print, but we're not looking at the angle of the print. We're looking at the angle from the bed, which is confusing. So let's jump over to the computer so I can give you some better visuals than my arm, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So the best way I could figure to explain what our threshold angle is, is a little PowerPoint presentation that I made you. So let's start with the basics. This is our 3D print. Let's just imagine that this is a block. And this is our print bed. That way we have a good foundation of what we're looking at. Now, sometimes our 3D prints will have these overhangs. And that is when the 3D print is moving out away from the bed and there is nothing underneath it and sometimes it moves out so far that we need to have supports that come up and hold on to our 3D prints, or better yet, support our 3D prints. So if you're familiar with Cura, you understand what our overhang angle is, and that is the first thing we have to find to be able to even find what our threshold angle is, and that's what makes this thing so confusing. So to help you, I'm going to explain this in basic math terms by using this little protractor that I made. Now, when it comes to our overhang angle, this is essentially what our overhang angle is. We go straight up and then we're holding this protractor on its side and we're getting this specific angle of how far over that this print is coming from the 3D print. So for this, this would be a 40 degree overhang angle. And typically we wouldn't support this, but this is just an example. Now for those of you that have come from Cura, this just makes sense. A 40 degree angle, it's coming over the bed at 40 degrees. Now when it comes to our threshold angle, this is a completely different angle. And we basically have to take our protractor and move it to the bed. And this is what we're going to be looking at. So now we're looking at the bed is where we're setting it down and we're coming up over at our angle. So imagine this angle, I just brought it down and this line and this line is parallel now. So we need to find what this is. This degree right here is our threshold angle. So 50 degrees is our threshold angle. And this is how we figure it because the maximum we can go is 90 degrees and that's straight up and we don't need anything at 90 degrees. So this is kind of the formula that you would want to use. You're, you're going to take 90 degrees minus whatever your overhang angle is, and then that is going to give you your threshold angle. So that's essentially how you're going to find whatever your threshold angle is going to be. You have to know what your overhang angle is to be able to get that perfect threshold angle. Alright, so now that we understand how our threshold angle actually works, even though it feels so backwards to me, I gotta get off of that soapbox. But what we've gotta do is we actually gotta find our angle. So we need to print a stress test. And that's what this little thing is that I've been swinging around this entire video. This is an overhang test. 
and I will give a link to it down below in the description. I really like this one because it prints really fast and it's easy. So let's jump over to Bamboo Studio so I can show you how to set this little guy up so we can find our support threshold angle on our printer. So I went ahead and added the model onto my build plate in Bamboo Studio, and it is just setting nice and flat right here in the middle. Now, a few things. I am testing this at a 0.2 millimeter standard. This is what I'm doing. Now, I am not changing any of the settings whatsoever when it comes to my layer height or anything on my quality side. Now, when it comes to my wall loops, I like to go with three walls when it comes to this overhang. And then I'm going to come over to my support tab and make sure that I do not have it checked because that's the whole purpose of this overhang test is to see how far we can 3D print without having supports because we actually want this to fail in some parts. I'm going to go ahead, slice this, and I'm going to send it over to my P1S. Now before, now before we even get into me showing you what the setting actually is, you might be like, oh, so I just need to get whatever your setting is and just put it in and I'm done. Yes and no. Because... If you're using like the standard 0.2 millimeter layer height quality, then yeah, you can use this. But if you're using something at a finer quality or the more of the draft mode, you're going to have to print another one because your threshold is going to change because it's all dependent on those settings of your layer heights and it's dependent on your actual speeds. So... If you've got some unique settings that you have for your specific printer, then I strongly recommend you not listening if I'm telling you, oh yeah, 40 degrees is what you want. I, I would print one for yourself for sure. That way you can get the exact threshold angle and you're going to have perfect prints. So that being said, let's go ahead and get a closer view of this so I can show you what our threshold angle actually is. All right, so now that we have this printed, we need to find what our overhang angle is. Now, this is the important thing. We're not going to get our threshold angle with this. We're going to have to figure out the math on that. This is going to tell us what our overhang is. So, if we look at this, we can see a 10 degree, and then it goes all the way to 80 degrees. Now, if I flip this over... And we're going to look really close at these backsides. And let's zoom in here. So if we look at this and we see our layer lines and see how it's printing and everything looks nice and pretty. And if we keep going, we can see how it really starts to get destroyed here. But what we're going to do is we need to find out at what point does it start looking pretty good. And we're not worried about how much of an angle we're printing at. So... What I'm going to do is I look at this and then I see, and this one isn't printing too great on the edges, but the surface here is looking pretty nice. And then I can look down here and this actually looks really nice too, but this doesn't look so good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this over and look and it's 60 degrees. And then if I come back up here and I say, okay, this one was kind of okay. And I flip this over and I look at which one this is and it's 60 degrees. So I basically know that 60 degrees is where I need to be when it comes to my overhang angle. So now that we know 60 degrees is working really well for me, now what is my threshold angle? Now if we remember from 90 degrees, if we subtract the 60, it's going to be 30. So now I know that 30 degrees is my support threshold angle. And I can go ahead and put that into Bamboo Studio. And then next time I'm printing, I can just check my supports. And anything past a 60 degree overhang, it's going to give me supports. All right, so now you know your support threshold angle because of this nice little tool we have here. Now, the big thing is, is just remember... If you're using the same setting as me as a 0.2, you could be using the same threshold angle I'm using. But if you're changing those layer heights in other settings, then you definitely want to print this again at those settings. And I, I just can't stress that enough because it's really important. But this is the cool thing. I went ahead and I printed all of these tests at the different default settings when it comes to Bamboo Studio. 
So I have printed them at all of the major settings, all the way from a 0 0.08 millimeters to the 2.8 draft mode. And I have come up with what is the best threshold angle for each layer height. And I went ahead and put that in a little PDF for you that is free for you to download. And I'm going to go ahead and put that down in the description below for you. The other thing is, is if you're a part of my newsletter, I have actually already sent this to you. So if you've missed it, just go check your inbox. You're welcome. Now, just like I said in the last video, I'm still not done with supports when it comes to Bamboo Studio. We've got a lot more to cover. So... I am just going to say I hope you have a good day, and I'm going to see you in this next video, and if it's out, it'll be right here for you.